So we've been to the supermarket today and we bought 10 lavenders. That was all they had at the moment. Um, and we placed them out so you can see what we're going to do. Yeah. Make an edge to the driveway, really. Yeah. Um, but I think we need about another 20. Yeah, well, we bought all they had. And um, in fairness, we weren't there for all that reason. No. We were just shopping, so. And actually, when you place them out in this place, it doesn't go very far. <laughs> no, not really. Um, but I, I thought we were going to have a solid sort of hedge, but you're saying you want gaps, so you didn't want it mm. to be solid, which I don't mind. So, uh, I think so. And as long as we've got enough gap to get lawn mowers and yeah. trolleys through so we can <clears throat> get to this area. Mm. But that's, um, that's what we're thinking, so we'll get those planted now. Yeah. Um, and they go behind us. Um, yes. Yeah, two here at the moment because I, I was thinking in this corner behind the gate to maybe do a little rockery because we've got all these stones behind us <laughs> <laughs> well, have the world's biggest rockery there. if yeah. we want um what down there mm. okay well whatever just I was... get some ground cover plants yeah okay well like you said once that gate's open you tend to lose um, that corner anyway yeah, don't you yeah. so a little rockery there wouldn't hurt yeah all right right and, and we... i i bought some more lavenders they're different ones um i don't know what they're called but um yeah different they're variety. like little rabbits ears and um they're to go in front of the kitchen because we only had about four survive last year that we planted <laughs> there oh. the dogs are the dogs are christening, christening them already. Them. Um, <laughs> so we planted the four we had on the top of that wall that you've just done. Yeah. So I bought some more to go along there. And they're quite nice. They're pinky colour, I think. Hmm. Okay, good. Hmm. Right, so we, we better... Get planting. Better get planting and clearing. If, if we can dig in this ground, because it's very rocky. Yeah, it gets... Um, it's sort of where the grass meets the drive. That's quite solid mm. drive. So they might get a bit trickier the further up we get. I tried to put some solar lights in there. I think it was last year or the year before, and I couldn't get them in the ground. No, but it's going to be the softest it's going to be now. So mm. now's the time to do it. Okay, go on then. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
Well, I had to nip into Troyes for a couple of things and Susie's waited at home for a parcel to come in. So I thought, well, I'll just nip in to the supermarket where we got these lavenders and they've got five more. So five gets us a little bit further. So that was a bit of luck. I went to another shop and they also had some lavender in. Um, I didn't go to the garden centres because we have two in Troyes and um, if I'm honest, they tend to be quite expensive. They're okay for, a, you know, the odd plant here and there or whatever. But when you're doing a project like this, they'd, they'd probably be a, another euro each and that's, that's 20, 30 euros. So um, it's worth looking in the supermarkets at this time of the year. Anyway, I've laid them all out so you can now get a good idea of uh, what we're going to do. Okay, so I've just quickly um, put them in between to fill the gap and you can now see it taking shape if I come all the way up. And there you go. So we still need a couple more, but I think uh, I think that's going to look really lovely when they're, you know, established and a uh, little bit bigger, obviously. Uh, what we've done, there's um, three gaps we've left, which is just access gaps, really, entrances. So when we're coming out of the two barns up here, for example, up the top end, we'll be able to go through there. So that's a bigger gap. There's going to be one here just uh, by the side of the planter so there's a gap and we can get the lawnmower and whatever else we need to get through and then uh, just up in the distance there there's another one So there you go. I think they're going to look spectacular. Bit of a waiting game, I'm afraid, but uh, yeah, I think they're going to look lovely. Really, just imagine that lavender colour all in bloom two or three years down the road. Yeah, that's going to look absolutely spectacular. Um, we worked out we we need another four just to complete it so we'll uh, try and get those by the weekend just to fill that gap there in front of the bread oven well we're really pleased with the lavender aren't we today very very it really pleased. defines the driveway it's gonna look lovely really lovely um, I'd like to welcome Lisa, Donna and Deborah for becoming new Patreons this week. Yeah, really uh, three this week yeah. and um, Deborah took advantage of something that Patreon have just introduced and that's a free trial period uh, where you get seven days completely free, you get all the access to a particular tier on Patreon and then at the end of seven days you can decide whether you want to stay on or not and Deborah did she tried it for seven days and obviously liked it so uh, thank you Deborah for trying that yeah. uh, we'll leave the link in the description so if you wanted to have a look at Patreon if you're serious about uh, considering helping us with the restoration of this beautiful place um, try the free trial period on Patreon for seven days and thank you to everybody else for their support yeah, thank you. Absolutely wonderful. And thanks for all your comments, as usual. We love them all. Yeah. So, we shall see you... Uh, next time. <laughs> Thursday. <laughs>
No. <laughs> no. We'll see <laughs> you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.